Mallory Weiss tear versus Borhov syndrome. Hey guys, I'm Boris. I'm a physician assistant. This is going to be day three of 30 days of pants review. Physician assistant, national certifying exam, pants, or as some people like to say pants C, pants review every day for the next 30 days. So let's choose another note card at random. I guess I just did for my just gigantic for my gigantic stack of note cards here that I personally use to study for the pants. And this question is going to be, give me the differences between a Mallory Weiss tear and Borhaves or Borhaves syndrome. So Mallory Weiss tear versus Borhaves syndrome. I'm gonna shut up for five seconds and let you think of an answer. Okay. I hope that was five seconds. So Mallory Weiss tear. So these are both esophageal tears, okay? Tears in the wall of the esophagus. Mallory Weiss and Borhoff's are both esophageal tears. Mallory Weiss tears are partial thickness, whereas Borhoff's are full thickness. That's the main difference. Partial thickness versus full thickness. So a little bit of bleeding versus a lot of bleeding, okay? Partial thickness tear, Mallory Weiss, full thickness tear, Borhoff's. Also, differences usually in how you get these things. So a Mallory Weiss tear is usually due to retching and or vomiting. So the classic presentation, which you might get in a test or on the pants, is going to be, I don't know, 28-year-old person, 28-year-old male, uh, was at a bachelor party, had too much to drink, mixed too many different kinds of liquor, and spent the entire night retching, and now he's coming to you with blood in his vomit and some pain in his chest. Okay? So usually from retching, vomiting, that's where you'll get your Mallory Weiss tear. And even on my note card here, I have the classic presentation as a patient drank too much alcohol, spent the night vomiting, and now has hemoptysis, hematemesis. <clears throat> They're either coughing or vomiting up some blood. And again, don't forget, a Mallory Weiss tear is a partial tear in the wall of the esophagus. A Borhaves tear, Borhaves syndrome, is, <clears throat> excuse me, it's a full thickness esophageal tear, usually due to an EGD. I forget what the heck EGD stands for, but it's an upper scope where they stick a camera down your throat uh, to check out your stomach and esophagus and whatnot. So it's actually usually iatrogenic. Iatrogenic means uh, caused by a healthcare provider. So it's a disease caused by a healthcare procedure or a treatment or of a of some sort. So iatrogenic means that people like me, people like us, healthcare providers gave you this problem. So Borhaves is usually iatrogenic with an EGD. So they're doing this scope, this camera down the throat, and they pierce the esophagus all the way through. It's a full thickness tear. And the way this presents is a lot of pain, hemoptysis, you're coughing up blood, coffee grounds emesis because so much blood is going down the esophagus that's bleeding so much and the blood is going down the esophagus you're swallowing it and then it's getting uh, digested and then it comes back up as black kind of coffee grounds emesis because it's blood that's already been digested by the stomach now on its way back up uh, the other way up the esophagus also hematochesia melena so either purple or kind of dark black stools uh, not bright red blood in the stool that's a lower GI bleed. This is an upper GI bleed. Remember, this is an upper GI bleed. So it's going to be uh, dark stools or purple stools, usually kind of dark black, not bright red. Okay. Bright red is going to be in the vomit. So hematemesis. So one more last time. What is the difference between a Mallory Weiss tear and a Borhaves syndrome? Mallory Weiss tear is a partial thickness tear of the esophagus. Borhaves syndrome is a full tear of the wall of the esophagus, uh, full thickness. Mallory Weiss, usually the presentation is due to too much alcohol, uh, throwing up, retching, vomiting all night, and now you got some blood in your vomit, slash you're coughing up some blood, plus probably some pain up here. Borhaves, it's usually iatrogenic, usually caused by an EGD, a procedure where we put the camera down the throat, and it's usually due to a mistake during one of those procedures. It pierces the uh, esophagus and you get a lot of pain. It's much more painful than, than a Mallory Weiss tear. Hemoptysis, you're coughing up blood just like a Mallory Weiss tear. Coffee grounds emesis, usually, um, you know, Borhaves versus Mallory Weiss, you'll get coffee grounds emesis, melanin, and hematochesia. So black or bloody stools, black uh, or bloody vomit uh, is going to be Borhaves. So they both could have hemoptysis, hematemesis, coughing or vomiting up blood, but there's just going to be more of it 
in Borjav syndrome, and you're more likely to have the coffee ground emesis, the melanin, and the hematochesia in Borjavs versus Mallory Weiss tear. See you guys in the next video. Peace.